I'm out here for the foreseeable future, running, doing circuits, pad work, sparring. I'll be back on the July 8th Copper Box show headlined by Billy Joe Saunders. I'll have a few comeback fights, two or three, while I'm waiting for Joshua. There's no money in anybody else. I won't miss the muscles. I can be the best Tyson Fury again. It didn't slip away. I just couldn't be bothered no more. It was shit and I didn't value it. But now there's 30 million pounds involved. I was a shadow of my former glory, but now I'm on my way back. With me and Joshua, one looks the part, one is the part. My win over Klitschko was a lot better. A better boxing display. He never hit me, but he he hit AJ with a million punches and nearly knocked him out. He definitely did expose him. I hope Eddie Hearn protects Joshua because the first decent man he fights who's not 41 beats him. Deontay Wilder, Joseph Parker, any one of these bombs would beat him. Those are the words of the Gypsy King, the former unified heavyweight world champion, Tyson Fury. He's on the comeback trail. He's trying to get back in shape. He's trying to lose a hell of a lot of weight. We've been seeing some of the videos of Tyson Fury training out in Marbella with Billy Joe Saunders. And to be honest with you, although he's severely overweight, his hands still look quick to me. I saw him on the pads and it looked promising. You know, I've been saying that I'm very dubious about Tyson Fury's comeback. I don't think he'll ever be be the same again. Maybe he can prove me wrong. As I say, the way he looked on the pads was promising. Yeah, and at least his hand speed still seemed to be there. I hope he gets the weight down. I hope he does get back to his former self. I would rather see the very best version of Tyson Fury take on Anthony Joshua than a subpar version. So we'll see what happens. But as far as what Fury was saying there, and he said in other interviews recently that he could beat AJ with one hand tied behind his back, uh, he said there that Joseph Parker and Deontay Wilder could beat Anthony Joshua. I mean, I, I take some of those comments with a pinch of salt. Just Fury being Fury, he likes to go overboard sometimes. Um, but maybe some of you guys actually agree with it. I personally believe that AJ did very well to win the fight the way that he did. And I don't think AJ was exposed at all. AJ, as I've mentioned previously, had only had 18 fights when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. Do you think Tyson Fury would have beat Vladimir Klitschko as easily as he did in his, in his 19th fight? I don't. Because Tyson Fury, after his 19th fight, got dropped heavily by Steve Cunningham, a guy who's a non-puncher, even at cruiserweight. Around, what was it, 16, 17 fights, he fought Nevin Pikage and got dropped heavily in that fight. So Fury's been through his own trials and tribulations. You know, tr Fury's been through situations which boxing fans at the time said exposed him. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe he's got a little bit of a short memory about his own career because he's been through rocky moments against much lesser opposition than Vladimir Klitschko. By the time Fury stepped in with Klitschko, he had 24 or 25 fights under his belt. He'd been the distance a few times. Joshua had never been the distance. Joshua had never come through a crisis like being dropped or whatever. Fury had that experience under his belt. Let's see where Joshua's at. I'm repeating myself in previous videos, but just to reiterate, let's see where Joshua's at after 24 fights. I think he'll be a lot better than he is now. So, just to be fair and put it all in perspective. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the Gypsy King, his comeback. Can he be as good as he was before? And if he is, will it be good enough to beat everybody in the division? Greatness in boxing is all about consistency. Can Tyson Fury be consistent if he comes back? He says he's only interested in the AJ fight because of the money. There's no real serious money in the other fights at the moment. So that's who he's focusing on. Um, can he, let's say, come back, beat AJ and then reign over the division? I, I doubt it. I don't, I don't think he can because I don't think he has the discipline outside of the ring. And also, I think, because the division is too competitive. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he'll come back and prove himself to be, as I've said before, the second coming of Muhammad Ali. Let's find out, people. I'm happy that he's back in training. 
I hope he gets his license back. I hope he returns to his best form. Let's see. It's happening tomorrow.